Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Anthony from Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, 5-23-2024, May 23rd, that would be. Uh, one game on a slate, NBA, Pacers versus the Celtics. Celtics are at home. Game opened up at, uh, if you look over here to the left, up a little. game opened up at plus nine, minus nine for the Celtics. Uh, not much change. You can get it at plus eight and a half. You wouldn't want to do that if you were taking the paces. You want the highest number. The Celtics minus eight and a half, minus nine. You would take that at minus eight and a half. Uh, over under at 224 and a half. Stayed the same. One book's got it at FanDuel's got it at 225. Uh, last game went into overtime. I think it was, uh, they scored 260 around there. And uh, it was like 28 points or something like that in the overtime. So they scored around 230, 230 something, which is over this. Uh, so you could possibly take the over. Both teams are offensive. Plus uh, Celtic shot real bad from three last game. I don't expect that to happen again. But uh, once again, the Pacers are the dog. Plus 300 opened up at, you can find them at plus 310, plus 290. But once again, you want the higher number if you were to do the money line, plus 310. And uh, the favorites opened up at minus 380. And uh, minus 395, which it's the opposite. You want the lower number for the favorites, so... Minus 360 on FanDuel. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm leaning towards the Celtics. I'm leaning towards the over. I'm not saying the Pacers don't have a chance, but they shot great again in the first the first half. And they didn't withstand it like they did in the next game, game seven, and uh, they fell off a little bit. And, you know, it was close. A couple turnovers. Uh, Jalen Brown hit that three, tied the game, like 10 seconds left or something, brought it to overtime, and, uh, and then they took over. Celtics took over. Um, I think if the Celtics hit their threes and stuff, it's going to be a walk in the park. But uh, we'll see. It's always adjustments, game two. No, no, no two games are the same. And uh, hopefully we got a good game. So, yeah, I got a few player props. We'll get right into them. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, let me stop. All right, first play going, I uh, guess I'll get the Celtics out the way. We got first quarter over one and a half, Drew Holiday assist. Uh Plus 159 on DraftKings. At least that's where they had it earlier. Right now they're saying Caesars is the only one that has it. Uh, last four games, he's gone over this. Uh, the one game versus Indiana, he's gotten three. He's playing uh, nine minutes. He's exceeded one and a half assists in four of the last five games. Averaging about three. Uh, it's good plus money. I think this is a little jewel I found. I know head to head is saying 33%, but this is not the regular season anymore. And the last two times they played, he's gone over this. So, yeah, first quarter, I do half unit. If you got a large unit size, I probably do less. But, uh, yeah, so Drew Holiday, first quarter, over one and a half assists. Then I also played him for his points. 
he really turned it up last game. He locked down uh, Halliburton, played good D. I was going to play his steals and blocks, too. We got it at one and a half, I think. But uh, learning from my mistakes. I'm not trying to play too many plays. Especially at least give you guys too many plays. I've been doing that. I give you so many plays and then, uh, you know, some things don't go the right way. But uh, points over 13 and a half, minus 120. Uh, DraftKings. Got it up to minus 130 on FanDuel, so definitely line shop, I always say. That first game, he got 28 points. Two games before that. Oh, this is all head-to-head. -head. So the last three games head-to-head, -head, he's gone over this. But uh, he really turned it up. I was surprised. But that's why the Celtics brought him in, a veteran player with championship experience. You know, big time plays, big time moments. He was there last game. He's gone over this uh, four out of the last six. You know, he's turning it up, playing about 38 minutes, 48% field goals, 40% from the three, 92% from the, from the foul line, from that stripe. But yeah, so we got him at uh, 13 and a half points over. Should be easy money. This and that assist, I believe, is going to hit. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, he's averaging 35 minutes. Used to play his points, but he's been off a little bit. This, this last game they played, he had 12 potential assists. So, you know, roll of thumb is you kind of cut it in half. So... I'm thinking he should get over four and a half again. Um, he might go off with his points. He's very capable of it. He's just been off for a little bit. He's starting to get back on the, to the 13, 14 mark. You know, but he's, he's capable of 20, 23. But uh, we're also playing him. He's an excellent defender. Played this last game. I play this every time I can. That they have it at one and a half. Uh, so we're playing steals and blocks over one and a half. Minus 130. Good MGM. It's all the way up to minus 160 on DraftKings. I dropped these plays last night. I played them. Um, I didn't get a chance to get the video out until today. But, um, yeah, definitely. You got to have various books anyway just for reasons like that. Uh, cashed him many times throughout the year. He had two steals, one block last game, so he had three. Um, head to head, he's almost 70%. Last five games, 60%. Uh, the whole year is about 70%. He's, he's, you know, he's for a guard, he's, uh, he's good at this stuff, box and stuff. Uh, paces of 21st and blocks allowed, so they get the shot blocked a lot. The shot blocked, they get the whole shot blocked. Uh, fourth in steals, but still, you know, that fast pace, and they sometimes careless, like yesterday, you're trying to do too much, and uh, you're turning the ball over. That's what the steals come out of. So, yeah, we got them on uh, four and a half assists and over one and a half steals and blocks. Derek White. this video I'd like to take this time to ask you to like the video for my new viewers if you could please subscribe turn them notifications on uh, I like to drop a lot of live bets uh, pretty good at reading the books and the stats and finding good lines easy numbers um, so you get it instantly you got to get it quick and get them in quick otherwise the lines change um, as well as if you could leave a comment and just let me know how I'm doing, what you're thinking, what team you got, what plays you're playing, anything. Uh, comments and the likes help get the videos out there. It helps get them on the, the main page for people to start viewing them. That's where you get more views, more people see it. You get to help more people in return. It helps me. Uh, I'm new to YouTube. I've been doing this a little over a month now. I think we're at 108 subscribers. 
put a little thing out there saying, uh, when I get to 500, I'm going to do a $100 giveaway. But, uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, comment. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, next play, we got Miles Turner over one and a half three pointers. Minus 120 on FanDuel. Uh, big, big guy, you know, big, uh, big center. He ain't too big, but he's a big guy. And, uh, he can shoot that three. You know, he's dragging him out to that three point line and he's banging him. And, uh, like, hopefully it's older. He can't move that fast. So he's giving him a little space and he's hitting him. Uh, in the Knicks game, the Knicks series, you see he hit a lot of them. Four, three, two. Uh, he hit three last game. So I'm planning on him going over one and a half. Still going to have the same problem. Hopefully it's not going to be able to keep up with him. And uh, Lernet, or whatever his name is, the other dude that uh, subs for Horford. You can't keep up with him either. So he's pulling him out, or they're not getting to him in time, and he's got these wide-open looks. And he's hitting them. So, yeah, we got Miles Turner over one and a half threes. 80% last five. This next play, we're going back to Obi Toppin. He's made us plenty of money this last couple of weeks. Uh, over eight and a half points, minus 122. Fandle. Once again, line chop. I got it at 140 on DraftKings. Uh, he had 15 last game. His number's still way too low. Uh, sometimes, yeah, he just has an off day, but uh, expect him to have some energy. Comes off the bench, and, uh, you know, he's athletic, and he's out there hooping. Uh, last five, he's been 60%. Last 20, 75%. Head to head, 100%. So uh, every time he plays them, he gets this. He's averaging 20 minutes, shooting 40% from three-point, nearly 60 from uh, regular field goals, 2%, shooting 90 from the stripe. You know, he gets a couple dunks. You know, some days he just isn't, isn't all there. He's like lax and confused. <laughs> But when he is, he goes over this. Not by much, but he'll get over it. Uh, Obi Toppin, eight and a half. Pacers are going to be hungry. They need this game. But, uh, yeah, so play it. Andrew, over four and a half assists. Plus 130 on DraftKings. Um... I started playing him with this in the last series. And uh, actually, I think right before they played the Knicks, he was going over it. I think they had it at three and a half, actually. And uh, he's been playing really well. He had that, that, that game winner against the Knicks. Last three games, he had six, six, and then seven. He's gone over this uh, five out of the last six. So uh, that's 80%. Like I said, he had seven last game. Averaging 31 minutes. Averaging 8.2 potential assists. And uh, he's exceeded four and a half assists in five of the last six games, like I said. So uh, I was juggling between his points. He's been going over his points. Uh, I was going to do points and assists. He even gets a couple rebounds. So I was juggling between them all. I decided to just go with the assists. It had uh, a little better value, which might mean it'd be a little harder to hit. But uh, I think he should go over this. Pacers are going to have to have some ball movement. These guys are closing out on him, not letting him shoot as much. So uh, he's passing it. So, yeah, hopefully he catches this. we got an MR with four and a half assists. Minus 130 on FanDuel. Uh, 
DraftKings got it at minus 170. It's definitely a line shot. He's, uh, he comes off the bench, backup point guard. It's a little beast, mad energy. He's gone over this uh, 7 out of 10. Last three games, he's gone over it. 80% last 5, 65% the last 20. Uh, his minutes ticked up last game because he did go to overtime. Actually, he didn't even play in overtime. I remember because I needed one more assist. He played his assist last game and he hooked. Uh, he's shooting 52% from the field. He don't shoot threes, but it's saying 33%. Uh, 90 from the foul line. He's averaging 20 minutes. Stays out of foul trouble. But uh, he's got a lot of energy. His father's a coach. He grew up, he was bred for this. He don't really have the size and stuff. I said this last time. But uh, the effort and uh, everything else is there. He makes the right play, the intelligence. You know, splits the D, a drive. Get that little, he jumps and he has that hang time. He bends his legs. Like, it's crazy. And then, uh, Hits them jumpers. But yeah, he should go over this again. Once again, not by much, but he'll clear it. Uh, TJ McConnell points over nine and a half. East Money to name, getting paper to gain. <laughs> Thank you.